That's a good point. What part of the country sucks the worst? Who has the most un-American people in it? The most un-American people? Or the worst. I just like to call the worst the most un-American. That's how I judge you. I think you're a horrible person to call un-American. It really doesn't have a lot to back it up with. Just the, the, the places that I really hate going to are like New York and New Jersey and a big truck. It just really sucks. There's like is that no the traffic or is that the people? Kind of both. You just hate honest. Italians? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. Do you like the Jersey Shore? I do not. Have you ever seen the Real Housewives of New Jersey? No, I do not want to. I think you might hate Italians. <laughs> From just that's just the greatest my, shows on TV. You don't like that. That's, Italians? Those are just my preferences. I didn't say that I hate a certain group of people just because I don't watch. Uh huh. You ever seen BET? Let's go any deeper. No, I haven't. No. Just never ends with you. <laughs> so what kind of shows do you like to watch? Since, uh, uh, shows of multicultural diversity, anything like that. Oh, nature. so you do watch BET. Name three shows off of BET. Well, there's so many good ones, it's hard to just name a few. I'm guessing the three that involve Tyler Perry. So, all of them? Oh, yeah, he's got like a couple shows, probably. What chair called? The Tyler Perry Show. My favorite one. Okay, there's one. Meet the Browns. Is that one? I'll, I'll, okay, I'll give that one to you. I have no ideas. I have nothing. And then any of up. his movies on there. I cannot honestly name one of his movies. I know they come out every six months. Mass production, right? Is there any quality to the... BET, like, how would you rate it? Like, from one to ten, ten being the best network ever, and one being the worst. Pay network or just like we have to pay extra? A more? network, just a network. Oh, um, I'm gonna say a five. Really? Just just a five? Well, that way I'm not going one way or the other. Because because you just said you love, um multicultural shows yeah, but then you only give them a five on playboy channel like if they get interracial lesbian things that's what i give a 10 to i mean you're saying the best ever and then you want to compare something i like to the greatest okay so your porn collection is the greatest then live tv live tv they have channels that have that probably have i know actually. they have the playboy channel i'm sure they have many more right all right what about you what's your favorite television <clears throat> programming I really don't watch that too, too much TV. What I've been watching right now are the court case shows. Um, court case be, shows? Yeah, like uh, Judge Alex and Judge Joe Brown and Judge Judy and things like that. You watch Judge Judy? I have to because that's the only thing my uh, TV picks up right now. Really? I do not have cable. I don't have cable or satellite right now. So, are those shows good? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I like them because sometimes there's weird things that go on in the courtroom. Like uh, the one, I, the one that I saw, there was like a transvestite trying to get money back from this guy that took him out on a date, and then the reason why is because he assaulted her because he didn't know Wait, that it was transvestites, men with penises. I think they're born women, or are they the ones that have the sex change, or what is a transvestite exactly? A transvestite is one who is a man, dresses like a woman, and feels like a woman. Feels inside, or feels like she has fake breast. Feels inside. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not up on this. Tech, I'm, not, I'm not up on this terminology. I know I'm a guy. The judge didn't get into detail him. about it. Like he wasn't questioning. He's like, "Oh, it's not a transvestite." No, he he was. He he asked. He asked, th this particular case. It was a guy who dressed like a woman and Did feels it like look a woman. Like a woman, or could you tell? You could tell that Just it was like a guy. This big amount of Adam's apple I've ever seen. It wasn't. He just. It just. He, he, she had really male features. Like, could he, could he palm basketball? I'm that's pretty, pretty sure he could. I'm man, pretty dude. sure he could because Cause the WNBA players can't. Because he that. was actually taller than the guy that it went out with. I, I have no. Idea. What was the guy that went out with? Short. Yeah, he was a lot shorter than the transvestite. 
So, so what are the things they talk? I remember seeing one of those shows at a buddy's house, and the two in a row they did like two cases back to back. Right. And both of them involved people not paying money because they spent it on crack. <laughs> and then I, one of the other ones that needed the money also was smoking crack because they were right. mad that they didn't smoke the money with crack. And the judge didn't seem too concerned about that. And in most cases involving criminal justice, mm-hmm. I think the judges would frown on smoking crack. Is yeah. that like a casual thing? Like, are there a lot of defendants that are? I think it was such to. I think it was such to a point that it was more about money than the actual legality of smoking crack. I hate to say it, but yeah. Because, I mean... Just smoking crack's kind of frowned upon by the Justice Department. Right, but is there really anything that they could do at that point? I mean, they're admitting to it in a court of law, but... Yeah, this doesn't seem like the smartest thing to do. It Your doesn't, honor. but I honestly have no idea how they would go about... Because... Well, they're who, stupid. They could get them for something. I mean, if your first instinct is not to lie, right. but you're like, Your Honor, I swear I was going to, but you know what it's like when your dealer calls you up and he's got a special on rocks? Buy one, get one free? <laughs> I mean, could you pass up on that? If, if I was, you know... A crack addict, then yeah, I'd probably you know do the same thing. I'd probably you know. I would lie about it in court. I, I would I lie about it in court too. Yeah, yeah, that would that's just retarded to admit that kind of thing, or at least not necessarily lie about it, but avoid it as much as possible. Yeah, you should probably avoid if you're gonna smoke rock. You should probably avoid talking about it as much as possible. Right. I think we're in consensus about that. It would be kind of weird though. You run into somebody you haven't seen in a while. So what you been up to? Oh, not much. You know, hanging around, chilling. You figure that's what they say if they're doing something bad. Not, right. Oh, not much. You know, smoking crack, having a good day. <laughs> you know, found the found the rock the mouse took last night. Nice. Yeah, I just uh, there was one on there where uh, the there was uh, an aunt and an uncle who sold an RV to their nephew or niece. It was either one. Was it transvestite? No, it wasn't. I just can't remember because there was a couple that were. It was the aunt and uncle, and then there was a couple. I can't remember which one was related to them, so I have to say aunt or niece or uh, niece or nephew. Relatives. I can't remember. Yeah, relatives. We'll just say that. Well, what they did was they wanted the aunt and uncle wanted them to the niece or nephew to give them the rest of the money that they owed for the RV. But then they gave the promissory note that said that they uh, sold it for a lot less so that they would uh, avoid not taxes. avoid taxes. Well, they submitted that in the court. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty much admitting that they are defrauding the government in a courtroom. There are some dumb people. That would be like going trying to fight your insurance company by saying, I know that fire wasn't accidental. I started it, okay? There was no accident in that. They need to pay me the claim right now. Right. This is BS. This is not how the system works. <laughs> Very disappointed. Everyone here today. 